This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Tube Buddy, YouTube certified. Stop wasting time. Tube Buddy is a free browser extension that integrates directly into YouTube to help you run your channel with ease. Trusted by more than 1 million plus amazing YouTubers. Type in your browser https colon forward slash forward slash triple w dot tube buddy dot com forward slash v g o hey gamers welcome back to my gaming channel video gamers oasis play theater i'm your host amy geek back again with our ben jordan paranormal investigator case number six um, Scourge of the Sea people, and we're doing some uh, adventuring with Ben Jordan in Agia Anna in Greece. He's arrived in Greece and he's going to do some investigating with this legend of my the mysterious uh, supernatural creatures called the Sea People. Before we begin, this, uh, this recording of this gaming video has been brought to you by Kit Kat. Give yourself a Kit Kat, give yourself a break, and Fruit Satians rolls. Fruit flavored snacks. Number one ingredient is fruit moths. Moths, fruits, and satians. So if you're gonna have some sweet snacks, make sure they're healthy. All right, uh, we're gonna continue on our adventure. Let's load the game. We're in Agiana. Agiana, load. All right, here we are. I'm gonna open my Kit Kat now. Enjoy a little chocolate. Let's go back to the uh, the bungalow. The room. It's in a drawer. Nightstand. Small nightstand is okay to be in the bed. There's nothing in the nightstand but drawer dust. I just covered the room covers. The dresser in which you store all your things. Let's see. You look through the dresser aside from everyone's clothes. Only thing of the litter stew find is a bottle of suntan lotion. That would be helpful. Save our progress. Let's go into the bathroom. You do a quick search of the bathroom. The only item of interest is a small shaving mirror hanging on the wall. Thinking it might be useful, you take it with you. Alright, save our progress. <coughs> Let's go in the door. Our inventory. It's a bottle of SPF 70 suntan lotion. Must be Simon's. You squeeze the bottle, it's oddly relaxing. That's that magnifying mirror. It's a small shaving mirror. It could come in handy. The glass feels smooth and now has an extra smudge on it. Right, well, I don't like that, but what can I do about now? Move on. Let's go check out the beach. Oh wow. Turquoise waters. The Aegean Sea are calm today. If I can examine it. You're not in the mood for a swim at the moment. Then let's investigate further on the dry land. A little more on my Kit Kat. All right, here we go. Old Bella. Sign. The only thing written in English on the sign is Tom's Pizza. Let's go on the pizza. this woman menu on the wall is a menu for, for several different types of food at least you assume that's what it is as it's all in Greek large metal door leads back into the kitchen the opening provides a few of the kitchen and also serves as the location to place your order 
She looks extremely bored. Could I talk to you for a moment? What do you want? Tell me about yourself. What's your name? Cassandra, what is yours? Ben Jordan. Good to meet you, Ben Jordan. You want pizza? Not right now, thanks. Pizza place. Is this your pizza place? Pizza, yes. Are you the owner? Owner? Yes. Does this restaurant belong to you? Ah, I understand. No, I work here. Owner is ill. Well, that wasn't so hard. Who says foreign travel always presents a language barrier? Eh, you ask me. No, I, I was more talking to myself, really. You strange man. Pizza. So what can you tell me about your pizza? Best pizza in Greece. That's quite a claim. It's true. What makes us so special? Freshest ingredients, best taste. Here I have dough, freshly made. You take some, try it. The woman hands you a lump of dough. Uh, thanks. Oh, I got a lump of dough. How nice of her. What about the sea people? Do you know anything about the sea people? Aye, you mean the fork sides. Bad, very bad. No talk about them. Bring bad luck. Evil omens. Okay, okay. Calm down. Here, goodbye. Anything else? Can I take you a minute? What do you want? See you later. Goodbye. Let's examine the dough. It's a lump of dough. It might be edible if you were starving to death. The dough feels soft and pliable, so you separate it into two smaller pieces. Okay, that's 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 progress. Save as pizza. Well, the thought of climbing through the opening is somewhat appealing. You get the feeling a staff might object to it. We're in a particular touchy-feely mood right now. Nothing here. Taking the restaurant's menu would be bad for their business. Alright, let's move on here. Boom, 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 boom. What's this place? Doorway. An open doorway leads into the building. What's in here? What's this painting? It's a painting of the Virgin Mary. I guess people need someone to watch over with them while they get drunk. Flag. The Greek flag hangs proudly on the wall, presumably so you can remember that country you're in if you have too much to drink. <coughs> this old man. An old man sits alone at the table. He looks fam oddly familiar somehow. Let's talk to him. Nice weather we're having, isn't it? Yes, it's quite a nice outside, though I do be hot. It's a good day to uh, be to be enjoyed in front of indoors, I think. Last question. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Tell about yourself. I'm sorry. This seems like I ran the question, but do I know you from somewhere? Or you look awfully familiar. That depends. Perhaps I just have one of those faces. Well, perhaps we have met in the past. Have you ever been to Oxford? No, I haven't. But I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Hmm. Wait a minute. I know where you've been. Your picture is in the back of the Paranormal Investigator's Handbook. You're Professor Quincy Sanborn. Yes, I am. You've read my book. Have I read your book? You bet I have. I read it cover to cover. The first night I got it. My goodness, that's the most flattering thing anyone has ever said to me. What is your name, young man? I'm Ben Jordan, and I'm a paranormal investigator. But I guess that goes without saying. I, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Jordan. And might I add that it's a nice to see that someone has found my work useful in their career. P.I. Handbook. Your book is great. It's really come in handy th throughout my career as a paranormal investigator. I'm very glad to hear it. 
I'd be fascinated to hear about your past investigations. Would you care to join me for dinner this evening? We'll discuss our, your mutual interests and share some stories. Sure, that'd be great. Wonderful. Shall we meet at the restaurant next door? Uh, say, then uh, say about 8 o'clock this evening? Sounds good to me. What he's doing here. So what brings you here? A colleague informed me that there were rumors of some paranormal inv activity involving sea people here in Egea Anna. I haven't been able to find much information on the subject, so you may have noticed that particular chapter was lacking in substance. I did notice, yes. So I decided to put on my old adventuring boots, so to speak, come back into the field to do some first-hand research. Uh, Aki Anna. What do you think of Aki Anna? It's a lovely little village, and this seaside area is marvelous. I think I'd rather like to retire here someday. Who are the sea people? I've heard of the, the sea people. Some of the Athens airport told me about them, and that's how I came here. Was it a large woman who seemed particularly camera shy? Yes. Did you talk to her too? Indeed I did. Quite a character. Tried to sell me some trinkets as well. So you have managed to see any Sikh people? Fortunately I haven't yet. Ho however, I'm still hopeful. Have you learned anything about them? Not very much, no. Most of the villagers refuse to talk about them. I did manage to speak to a local fisherman about them though. What did the fisherman say? Tell me more about this fisherman. He's a bit of a recluse. He lives in a house on the far end of the beach, <coughs> to west of the village. It took a bit of persuasion to get him to talk to me, but once I had won him over, he was quite pleasant. He told me all he knew about the sea people and even offered to let me hire his boat. I had to refuse due to my terrible sea sick sickness, however. You should go speak with him. Tell him I sent you, otherwise he may not be very cooperative. Thanks, Professor. I'll do that. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Let's save this progress as... Professor. Alright, what's the menu say? On the wall is a drink menu. Most of it is in Greek, but some items are also in English. See Sanborn just a little bit more. Professor Sanborn? Ah, Mr. Jordan, how may I help you? Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Alright, let's move on. House. In the distance there is a large white house. Whoever lives there must be making some serious cash. Rest of the village is residential. You have no interest in going any further that way. Okay. Don't have to do that. That they have to say. Could I talk to you for a minute? What do you want? See you later. Goodbye. Let's be on our way. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Is there anything to the left? Okay, there's a little area here. Metal object. 
There seems to be some kind of metal object, metal bar sticking out of the sand. Decide to take the metal object. All right, what have I got? A long, it's a long, slightly bent metal bar. Either it's washed ashore or it's the roasting spit of someone's beach barbecue. The bar feels sturdy. No pieces feel soft. Beach. Let's see if this is beach. Medium-sized boat sways gently in the sea breeze. While you could just boldly swim over to that boat, climb on and steal it, that's just not your style. Let's see what's happening in the house. In the distance you see a small house. You have to get closer if you want anything to do anything with the house. small box on the mesh is hanging from the roof. Upon clear, closer inspection, you see it contains several sense sets of tentacles. You don't find tentacles very appetizing. Besides, the flies already seem to have claimed them as their own. The door is painted red, but the paint is chipping, presumably from the constant exposure to the sea air. Knock on the door. You knock on the door. All right, here he is. Paracalo Parameti and a Lapato. Boyle's essay? Let's talk to this gentleman. Excuse me, sir. Professor Quincy Sanborn told me I should come speak with you. Sanborn, old English guy with beard. That's the one. Why he tell you to come see me? My name is Ben Jordan, and I'm a paranormal investigator. Professor Sanborn told me you might be able to help me out. Come inside. Sit down. How can I help you? So this is a nice house. I don't got time for small talk, kid. Get to the point or get out. Right, sorry. Let's talk to him right away. Dresser. Presume that is with the hat the fisherman wears when he goes out. The corner of the fisherman's bed is the fisherman's bed. It looks surprisingly tidy, unlike the fisherman himself. Can I ask you some questions? Go. This is what you came here for, so go ahead. Tell me about yourself. How long have you been living here? Many years. I built this house on myself. It may not be big, but I feel more at home at sea, so it suits me fine for my st stays on land between fishing trips. How's the fishing been? Lately, not so good. The fish are not biting like they usually do this time of year. Something is not right with the sea. I can feel it. You speak very good English. Thank you. So do you. Normally, I do not let the Americans know that I speak English. If I do, they usually bother me and they photograph some stupid things like that. But since you say that professor guy sent you, I make an exception. Aggie Anna. Oh, so what can you tell me about Aggie Anna? I was born here. I have lived here my whole life. The village has not changed very much since I was a boy. But the past few years we, we have been getting more foreign tourists. I just hope they do not start building big tourist resorts here. Tell me about the sea people. Do you know anything about the sea people? So this is why you were sent to me, eh? Yes, I know something about the sea people. I told your friend, the professor, all I knew about them. And exactly what do you know about them? They are creatures who live in the sea. They come out at night and drag people down into the water to eat them. The tales of the sea people were always told to scare children, but lately it seems they might not be just stories. What do you what do you mean? I have heard that some people from the village have disappeared mysteriously, and that they found the strange drag marks in the sand. Creepy. Of course, being on land is not where you want you to be if you want to know more about sea people. 
boat. Professor Sanborn mentioned that you offered to take him out on your boat. Yes, that is right. Would I be able to take you up on that offer? That depends. What is in it for me? I could pay you. Isn't that the usual protocol for hiring transportation? Look around here. I got everything I need. I know I got no need for money. But how do you pay for food? I am a fisherman. I catch my own food. Okay, so is there anything I could trade for hiring your boat? Hmm, maybe. You can discuss it over a drink. A drink? Yes, I think some Uzo would help me come up with something. Uzo? What is Uzo? You're joking, yes? Nope, never heard of it. This does not surprise me. I do not expect Americans to know anything other than Coca-Cola or Budweiser. I take it some sort of alcoholic beverage? It is the drink of Greece. Puts a hair as on your chest. Bring me a bottle. We can drink together and we talk about you hiring me in my boat. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. Not a problem. Fisherman. Can I ask you some questions? This is what you are here for, so go ahead. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. Not a problem. All right, folks, we are going to, I think I'd better get going. Okay, you can let yourself out. I'm gonna go look for some ouzo. Um, let's go out. Uh, let's save our progress as fishermen. And we'll head on back. Get out of here, come on. There we go. Let's go back to our bungalow. Let's see if we can talk to our buddy. There's, let's say here, plaque. There's a small plaque on the post. It reads, Seaside Bungalows for Rent. Prices start at 15 euro per night. Tourists welcome. Let's talk to this guy. Sign booth. Read anything interesting? Apparently one third of the great population lives in Athens. Makes you glad we came here. It's good to get away from civilization. Agreed. Ask a few questions. Hey, Simon. Hmm? Did, did Alice say where she was going? All she said was she was going to take a look around. I imagine she's in the village or on the beach or someplace in the general area. Now, I'm not going to say anything because you've made it abundantly clear that you don't like me saying anything. But if I were to say anything, I'd point out that you certainly seem to be interested in her for someone who's not, quote-unquote, interested in her. I was it was just a question. You're right. That it was. Agiana. Agiana sure is nice, don't you think? Yes, it's lovely. But then, in a place that has sunshine more than two days a year, it is lovely to me. Planning on taking advantage and working on your tan? Ben, I'm English. If I s stay out in the sun too long, I'm likely to spontaneously combust. Plans. So what did you say your plans were for later were? I was just going to explore the area a bit, find out what the seaside village has to offer. Perhaps some sample some of the Greek spirits I've heard tell about. Sounds fun. I'll let you know when I'm going if you'd like to come along. Sure, I'll be around. I'll let you know. I'll let you get back to your book. 
Right. Nightstand. Do nightstand except dust. We'll save a little break here. And uh, as Simon. Reading. Gamers, thanks for watching me play Ben Jordan case number six, Scourge of the Sea People by Francisco Gonzalez. We've been, uh, we made some progress here. We've explored the beach and we've talked to a fisherman as well as a professor who have reason to believe there are sea people living by the sea, the waters of Agia Anna. We gotta find a um, bottle of Uzo to give to the fisherman. See if we can uh, bribe him or at least reward him for uh, helping us travel into the ocean and find the sea people. We're going to take a little break. Thanks for watching, gamers. I would appreciate it if you would uh, like this video. Add it to your favorites. Leave comments below. Share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+. All those social media websites that you use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Voice of Play Theater, so you get the latest videos, updates. Check the links below. I'm the Meat Geek. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more great gaming videos on Video, ga video Gamers Oasis Play Theater, and we will continue our adventure with Ben Jordan, case number six, Scourge of the Sea People. Thanks for watching, gamers. Have a great weekend. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>